Hello and welcome back to Sci-Fi Junkie. This is episode three in my Star Trek series where I look at the latest episode of Picard and give you my kind of uh, feedback, thoughts and feelings on what I'm making this show so far. So as a good starting point, as a reminder, uh, episode one, I gave that a good solid four out of five stars. Um, the biggest shock there, and so this is a bit of a spoiler, so do stick your fingers in your ears if you don't want to hear it, was obviously that Dadge, or a version of Dadge, is actually uh, killed at the, virtually the end of that first episode. That was intriguing for me because I really liked the way the character was going. I liked the way the development was going there. So I wanted to see more of the character. So it's actually quite a good storytelling device to actually have a character I'm attached to and then that character be killed off still within episode one. Because it really gets you kind of like thinking, well, where can I go next? Have they wasted a really good opportunity? And also by the reveal that actually she has a twin, um, now that also got me intrigued. We started to meet the characters for episode two, and what, look, what I'm looking for is how identical are they? Are they going to have two clear separate performances? Now, admittedly, um, you didn't get a lot of time with Dad in episode one, but I've got a fairly good hand on the type of character that she is. And the second Dad, or the de second character, she's not actually called Dad, they're not um, uh, clones in that sense, they are twins, but they seem to have their own separate identity. Um, she seems very different. Still clever, still headstrong, still looks like she's going to be a bit of a rule breaker, but there's a darker side to that story we can't help but think. So I'm really intrigued. Um, and again, they've upped the ante. So if the first episode was bringing you up to date with the changes that have gone within the universe, then actually episode two starts a hint at some of the things we've got rotten in the in the core of Starfleet. Um, so we've definitely got some rumbling infiltra infiltration. So we've definitely got some Romulan infiltration going on here and there's some deeper storylines just bubbling beneath the surface. So I felt this episode really built further tension. Um, it continued on the excellent story building, uh, introduced uh, some new characters. Um, most notably, so far though, we're only being introduced to characters we've already met via the trailers which they were uh, released beforehand. So no one brand new new, but at least we're now beginning to get the assembly of the new crew coming together. This is very interesting because the one thing which has started to make sense to me is actually how well they've adapted to a new medium. So yes, I'm watching Star Trek, now traditional next gen and the original Trek and Voyager and even Deep Space Nine. Most of the time you're looking at episodic stories, you'd have a story arc, but the story arc was linking over quite a grand level story. Whereas actually what we're seeing here is quite a uh, tight narrative arc building. So that to me is, is quite intriguing because I don't think we would have seen this 15, 20 years ago. Um, it would have not been part of the Star Trek vision at that stage. So what we're getting now is a little bit of difference, a little bit of variation. So I'm really intrigued to see where that will go. So it's nice to see in that sense that they're embracing the uh, benefits of uh, the streaming medium uh, and innovating upon that. And again, I can't help but think that's so different from what we saw with uh, Discovery. Discovery doesn't seem to have innovated on the storytelling mechanism. Um, it tried to, it had a couple of good ideas, some interesting characterizations, but it's largely dropped the ball. But anyway, this is not the place to um, unpick all the things I don't like about Discovery. It's about talking about Picard. So one of the big things about the episode, from my point of view, is it was that classic story building episode. Did it have lots of tension? Did it have lots of shocks and twists in it? No, I found the episode was slightly more leisurely paced. Definitely that is not an episode which I think stands particularly well on its own, but then that's not the way it's designed to be seen. It's designed to be seen as part of a series. It does make you wonder whether they ever consider just dropping the entire series in one hit. Um, I'm glad they didn't because I would have definitely lost a full night's sleep so I could work through the entire episode. Uh, any big surprise in that episode? Um, there is a big surprise, but I'm not going to mention it in this review. All I'll say is there's some news around Picard. It's completely out of the blue. Yes, out of the blue at one level. Yes, they reference back to something which happened in an early episode of the, of the Next Generation. But it was kind of like, rah. to me, it seems a necessary plot line. It doesn't seem like a plot line which can resolve uh, in a satisfactory way, unless they do that classic Star Trek where suddenly they introduce a new MacGuffin which can solve the situation. So the great Picard kind of surprise, is it hinted at episode one? Yeah, kind of a little bit, but it's not really flashback to episode two. But again, excellent building episode. Um, do I give every episode that I've watched it a kind of a star rating? It seems a bit unnatural to do that, but I am going to pass the because I did say episode one was a good four out of five. I want to say this one is three out of five, um, not because it's worse in any way, but purely because it's more of a building episode. It's not actually pushing the plot forward majorly. It just introduced and built us more of the characters and is starting on our journey. 
got some brilliant moments. Uh, there's a brilliant uh, flash of Picard when he's at the uh, Starfleet Academy. And there's also further unfolding around what went wrong with the synthetics in Mars. Again, we see the actions, but we're now not seeing the agency beyond those. Uh, but that's really, really interesting, and I'm going to see how that develops. What I'll probably do is, once I've finished the entire series, I'll probably do a, a longer video, which will be my retrospective on the entire season. Um, and that way I can talk about the uh, plot details and some of the details, which I'm kind of skirting around at the moment, because what I don't want to do is spoil anyone else's enjoyment of the show. Um, you know, because that just really, all of us who are fans of science fiction, let alone fans of Star Trek, really want to just enjoy that show for what it's worth. So that's it for today, so a slightly shorter video than last time, but hopefully what I've done is stayed on topic. I think I've 75, 80% been talking about Star Trek Picard and not just digressing onto all the other wonderful science fiction shows that I have obsessed about over the years. So I'll say goodbye for now, and if you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the thumbs up, or click the notification bell so that you know when I next post a video, and hopefully I will see you again soon. Take care.